Alright, so it's going to be a Fortnite philosophy video. I've been playing this game Fortnite, and uh, I was thinking about the things that I've learned about it, and how that applies to, to everyday life, or how everyday life might apply to Fortnite. So, you know, basically it's a, a, a battle royale game, like a hundred people get dropped onto an island. There's uh, weapons of destruction, and uh, you could create things, like buildings and whatnot. And it's a lot of fun, because... Uh, one thing that I've learned from it is that uh, when you involve human creativity, other people, and there's an opportunity to adjust things, you can't predict what other people might do. And the thing is, though, if you can't predict what other people might do, you got to ask yourself, why didn't I see that coming? You know, how do you expect the unexpected? And uh, you do it by trial and error. And uh, so many people... I think, especially as they get older, are so afraid of their own errors. There's, people are terrified to look stupid. But, like, really, like, I've learned the most from the game the times I stupidly did this, that, or the other thing. Like, so this guy was hiding in a bush, and I went to go get in the bush, and I couldn't. And I was just standing there staring at the bush, like, what's keeping me from getting in? And then he shoots me, and I'm like, oh, I see, because he, he was in the bush. So you got to think, you're like, if I hide in the bushes, other people are going to hide in the bushes. Another thing uh, I've learned is uh, the game encourages you to try other things. Like it says, uh, try to get five kills with just the pistol. Or try to survive to the last 50 or something like that. So you're like, okay, well, so it takes the focus away from the end. Like, I want to win, right? But, like, what if the focus is like, well, I just need to get one, I just need to shoot one guy with a pistol. So you learn to, like, enjoy things moment to moment. Like now to take a moment and like, you know, we've got this long dog walk, we're heading to a certain location, but this is pretty. I want to take a moment to appreciate. Also, another thing I learned is uh, sometimes you have to take a moment, even, well, even when you're playing a game, because it's serious, you want to win, and uh, the level of skill required to that is either, you're either really skillful or you get real lucky. But I remember at one point in time, I, when I joined squads, because that was the challenge, I was like challenged like join squads five times, and we'll give you, you know, bonus points. But uh, the uh, end up playing with these uh, these guys. Oh, there he is. I was playing with these guys that are really good working together, and they kind of they kind of drugged me along to the win, even though I wasn't very helpful. I, I got no kills. I was just a nuisance. Um, Oh, we come up to this field, so the last people standing, and on, the, on this platform is a jump pad. Like, it's unnecessary. Like, it just, it throws you up in the air, you fly around, then you land somewhere. But, like, we're at the end of the game. You know, the bad guys are right there. We're going to win, hopefully. And uh, I'm like, I want to jump on the jump pad. You know, and I said, like, that, I mean, that was the thing. It's like, sometimes, what I learned is, like, sometimes... You have to remind yourself to enjoy, you know, yourself. Because sometimes you get so serious, or I get so serious about things. I remember, like, a moment, like, when I was taking yoga, the same thing happened. I was so, I was trying to be as good as everybody around me, and the instructor said something like, remember to enjoy yourself. And I thought, God, you know, I wasn't enjoying myself. All I was doing was focusing on, you know, being as good as the person in front of me, like, having that kind of balance. Hmm... I guess the most important thing I've learned from Fortnite so far is uh, when I started acting like a student, when I started asking these guys, like, hey, man, like, give me feedback. Like, tell me what you expect. Uh, let me know when you see me doing something ridiculous, like wasting ammo or actually running the opposite direction. Because um, I want to get better. Like, when you start acting like a student, you get better so much faster. Like, for instance, one of the guys noticed uh, that uh, I wasn't zooming in a lot when I was shooting a lot of times. And the reason why I wasn't is because, like, my, the, the aiming thing would move so slow when you zoom in. And, but I was still getting kind of good at it. And uh, he's like, well, you, you got to zoom in. It's just better. It's just, it'll, it'll be more efficient for you. And I suddenly realized you could change the speed. And my muscle memory had already got used to, and I was already getting good at, hitting people when it was slower. And I just said to myself, well... I've got to, got to listen to this guy's advice. I got to change the speed so it's faster, 
And then I gotta relearn. I gotta, I gotta become a beginner again at this new speed until my muscle memory starts to, you know, start to kick in. And that so many people I've noticed through life just stop being a, uh, a student. Because you think to yourself like, oh, I've done this for X amount of years, or like, I'm so familiar with this, or I know so much about that. And you forget to, you forget to listen to other people. You forget that like, it's never too late to learn something. And also, sometimes you learn something and just because it works, like my slow, my slow zoom in, just because that was working, doesn't mean it's working the best. You know, and you try something new and you're like, oh no, I'm not as good. But you have to give up on this desire to be as good as you were and then be a student again and try again. Uh, I might have gone on and on about that. Might have been a little trite. <sighs> All right. I'm going to finish this dog walk. I'm going to get something to eat. I'm going to play some Fortnite. But not too much, man, because that game gets your heart racing. I, have, I, I had my most kills the other day. I got four kills, and they're pretty much right in a row. And by the time I wiped out four people, uh, and a couple instances I ran up while people were fighting, so like I was like six people's loot. I was so covered in loot. We're all about loot, people in Fortnite. And then this guy snuck up behind me and took me out. Oh, my headphones only sound, I only realize I'm hearing sound through one ear and not too much in the other. So I don't think I have stereo headphones because sometimes I can hear somebody, but I can't tell exactly which direction they're coming from. So I might have to spend, I might have to spend 20 bucks on some headphones. We'll have to see. All right, play some Fortnite. You'll love it.